Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about what are the electrical engineering interview questions. If you go for any interview, some questions will be asked by the officials. Those questions, generally what are the questions they will ask for electrical engineers. All these will be discussed in this session. Coming to the first question of electrical engineer interview questions. What is electric traction? Electric traction means using the electric power for traction system is called electric traction. That is in railways we are using electrical power to run the train that is traction, electric traction. Not only trains, trams and trolleys etc. if you run with the power that is called electric traction. Electric traction means use of electricity for all the above missions nowadays magnetic traction is also used for bullet trains and basically dc motors are used for electric traction systems which type of dc motor we are using for electric traction is dc series motors we are using because dc series motor does not starts without load coming to another second interview question how can you start up the 40 watts tube light with 230 volts AC or DC without using any choke or coil. In olden days, we are using choke or coil to start up 40 watts tube light. It is possible by means of electronic choke, that is the answer. Without any choke or coil, we can start 40 watts tube light. It is possible by means of electronic chokes, that is the answer. Otherwise, it is not possible because the ionization part the particles in the tube light with the normal voltage it is not possible the fluorescence effect will not be possible by using without choke or coil or electronic choke without choke or coil we can start tube light by means of electronic chokes if there is no electronic choke choke or coil then the ionization pause then the ionization is not possible. Coming to third interview question is what is PU in electrical engineering? The PU stands for per unit system and this will be used in single line diagram of power distribution and it is like a huge electrical circuit with a number of components like generators, transformers and loads with the different ratings in MVA and kilovolts. To bring all the ratings into common platform, we use per unit concept in which in large in general largest MVA and KV ratings of the component is considered as base values. Then all other component ratings will get back into these biases. Then all other component ratings will get back into this basis. Those values are called per unit values. Per unit value means actual value by base value gives per unit value. This is the very important question. Per unit value will be obtained by dividing actual value with base value. Next question is what is the operation carried out in thermal power stations? What is the operation carried out in thermal power stations? That is, the operation will be carried out in a simple manner. The water is obtained in the boiler and the coal is burnt so that the steam is obtained in this. Steam is allowed to hit the turbine. The turbine which is coupled with the generator generates electricity. That is simple question and answer. How the power will be generated in thermal power station? or what is the operation carried out in thermal power station. Simply the water is obtained in the boiler and the coal is burnt so that steam is obtained. This steam is allowed to heat the turbine. The turbine which is coupled with the generator generates electricity. Coming to another electrical engineer interview question. Why link is provided in the neutral of an AC circuit? and fuse in phase of AC circuit. That is very common interview question. Why link is provided in neutral of an AC circuit and fuse in phase of an AC circuit. Normally the phase 
the fuse will be placed in phase of NAC circuit but link is provided in neutral of NAC circuit. The answer is link is provided at neutral common point in the circuit from which various connections are taken for the individual control circuit and so it is given in a link from to withstand high amps but in case of fuse the phase of AC circuit is designed such that the fuse rating is calculated for the particular circuit that is load only so any malfunction happen the fuse connected in the particular control circuit alone will be blow off thereby it protect the circuit a fuse always will be connected in phase only because if any fault occurs the fuse melts after that it disconnect the supply hence phase fuse connection will be important for phase only these are the important questions part one only next video we will discuss about some important questions related to electrical engineering interview questions